Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com Bringing you a wet fly pattern again today. This is one that is actually, it's winter time here in central Pennsylvania where I'm at. And these are actually coming off right now on a nice day, nice sunny day in the winter. Blue winged olives will be coming off on some of my favorite little streams. And I've fished them a lot in the winter time and done real well. Um, when I like to swing wet flies, this is one I swing. This one's called the green tail. It's an old English pattern and um, it catches a lot of fish. So also with this video, I'm going to be using a starling skin, which is a really cheap, inexpensive way to get wet fly hackle. You know, you're talking um, four, four or five dollars and you got a hide full. Or, you know, pluck one off in the backyard with a BB gun, but then that takes a lot of messing around and getting dirty. So, anyhow guys, this is a simple fly to tie and you can even switch up the colors of the abdomen on this and uh, make it the make it brown or make it a black one or just switch around the different colors to match the hatches in your area. It's just one of my favorite small little flies is an olive, so I'm tying this as an olive. Um, here it is in uh, the picture of it and the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the green tail in the vise. Um, pretty simple fly, really small. It's a blue winged olive imitation, so it's meant to be small. And let's get the hook in the vise. The hook I am using is a Firehole 609, and this is a size 16. You could tie it in an 18 if you wanted, it would work great in an 18 too. But we're actually kind of almost tying it like an 18 on a size 16 hook. The thread I'm using is 70 denier olive. We're just going to get it started on there. And then I'm going to wrap it back to about where the barb would be on the hook. And then we're just going to wrap it back forward. This is a super easy one to tie. And then we're just going to cover up, make a little bit of body. And what we're really going to do here, change the color of the hook shank. Okay. I don't want to go real real big. That's good right there. See how I changed the color of the hook shank, made it olive. Next thing I'm going to use is a touch of dubbing. And I mean a small, tiny touch of dubbing. Very small. And the color is SLF Whitlock's Dubbing Blends. Um, and the color is Helgramite. So I'm just going to use a little bit, just to make it a little bit darker. And we're going to make a nice little uh, thorax here. Okay. Take a wrap or two off, tighten that back down. I put a little bit too much on, so I took some off and to get that to look nice I had to tighten it back down. So there you see just a nice little abdomen and thorax. Next thing I'm going to use is a starling skin. I kind of shied away from starling because I always thought out oh, of a pain to use. And there's a lot of nice feathers on here, and they're not actually that hard. So what I did was I took one starling feather, I peeled all the fluff back off the back end, and then I peeled the fibers back, and I uh, picked out the tip there. And I'm just going to tie it down by the tip. And I want to go back in here a little bit, so I'm sure I get a meaty part of the, the shank of the feather there. So we're just going to tie that down, we'll trim off that tip, make sure it's tight, and then I'm going to take my hackle pliers and finish this fly off. So just crimp the shaft of that feather, and we're going to wrap it on. And as I wrap, I'm going to lightly tease those feathers back so I don't pull on the feather and break it and you're only going to get two or three wraps and that's going to be plenty just wrap it up there towards that eye and tie it off like I said this is a super easy one to tie 
and it catches fish. This is a great blue winged olive. It's winter time here in Pennsylvania and uh, this is one of our winter time hatches. We will get blue winged olives in the winter, spring, some in the fall. About the only time they don't come off is the heat of the summer. So we're just going to finish that off. Don't make that head too big. Just make it visible. And try to get like two or three small whip finishes on there. There we go. And that is it. You can put a little bit of uh, SLF or Solar Res um, bend dry on there. And that will help darken that thread up, give it a little bit of an offset color to it too, which is nice. And that's it. You are done. Enjoy tying that. Okay, guys, I hope you didn't blink and miss that. It took that, it was that quick of a tie. And uh, it's, it's easy. It's really easy. You don't have to worry about getting too much dubbing in the abdomen and all those kinds of problems. Don't use too much in the thorax and the little bump there behind the hackle. Or otherwise, your hackle will stand straight up and it'll be, the proportions will be off. Just use a tiny little bit. You saw how much I used was very minute amount, and then I even took some of that off. So always err to the side of not enough instead of too much. You'll always be better that way with fly fishing. Um, any of the materials you need to tie it, you can find on our website as always, or down in the description list. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I enjoy bringing these to you. They're a lot of fun for me to practice different flies and you know practice my techniques and stuff. And I hope you're doing that too. Even if you know how to tie them, tie them just for the experience of tying them again and uh, you know and practicing your different techniques. That's what I always preach: techniques over anything. Stack your techniques on top of you, and you can tie any pattern out there. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next week. Go check out our Facebook and Instagram. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, I'll see you next week. I'm Sean Holsinger.